some of the challenges would be weather as well as hazardous ocean conditions. We do dive in a lot of current as well as uh, we have reptiles sometimes that infest our bridges. So we do have that as one of the challenges. Of course, you say the uh, lack of visibility is always a problem. Um, wildlife is always a problem with us, um, whether it be snakes, alligators, um, that those are always a problem. <laughs> you want to move your cup out of the way? Okay. Uh, can you introduce yourself and say what um, you do? You're videotaping? Okay. My name is Cody Matthew Rimmer. I'm an assistant underwater bridge inspector for FDOT. Hi, my name is Kyle Fortmary. I am one of the underwater assistant bridge inspectors. Hi, my name is John Baker. I'm an assistant underwater bridge inspector. Uh, my name is Michael Payer. I am the certified underwater bridge inspector. Um, I'm also the team leader for the underwater dive operations in District 4. Our main objective is to inspect the underwater portions of bridges uh, of state state roadways. We do all of the all the underwater elements like the piles and channel. We inspect those to make sure they're in working order. All bridges have to be inspected per federal guidelines every two years. So any road that has a vehicular traffic going over it has to be inspected every two years. So we're basically complying with regulations. We also inspect other local structures like traffic civil mast arms, high mast light poles. Every day is a little different. We don't get into a lot of repetition stuff. So we'll go to our dive locker, uh, which we have over at Broward Ops, and we go get all of our gear, all of our scuba gear. We have a report that we have, we know where we go, and we just deploy to the site, and then we'll just conduct the inspection. There's a lot of prep before. Um, there's a lot of uh, organization. There's prep in reviewing old reports. There's uh, prep in getting our gear ready and then getting to the structure. So this is a main, like a, this would be our, our scuba diving unit. Um, this is a typical scuba diving unit that most people use, uh, but we have a redundancy on ours. So this is our main air. This is uh, 80 cubic foot of air. So this will last us, this has plenty of air in for us. But we also have a side redundancy for our safety, just in case something goes wrong with this one or we run out of air. We have 19 cubic foot on the side here that we can switch to. To switch, uh, to, switch to our other spare air, all we have to do is turn this knob. Um, other than that, we have, uh, this is a depth gauge. Um, we have an overpressure relief valve on here just in case the pressure in our hoses gets too high and our, our hose is about burst. We can, uh, this will let out the air before our hose is closed. We also have, uh, this is our communication unit. This sends. Uh, this allows us to talk to the boat uh, wirelessly underwater. So that's how it all works together. You don't really know exactly what's down there unless you go down there underwater. We have a, a, a sense of freedom almost. I got into diving when I was, I want to say like 15. And I've been in love with it ever since. Diving is, I mean, hands down, like one of the funnest things that you can do. I just love it because I enjoy diving. I, we don't get the clearest water, but it feels nice to get out and 
just do what you enjoy doing. If you ever ask anybody about underwater bridge inspection, a lot of people don't know about it. Um, and I was one of them. I had no idea this was a career path. Um, it's an interesting path, um, but it's always going to be around, I think. Our job, along with the other contractors working together, is very important because it maintains the quality of the infrastructure of the bridges that are, uh, well, everybody uses. It's, a, it's an interesting job. You have to not really have a lot of fears as far as, um, you know, dirty water. You can't see uh, wildlife. You, you really can't have fears like that. Somebody who has no idea what is really, you don't really know exactly what's down there unless you go down there underwater. It's dirty a lot. Whenever you look at one of the culverts or one of the it looks like a little trench or a swampy area. It's like, oh yeah, there's probably deadly stuff in that. And yeah, you're probably right, but sometimes we have to get in stuff like that. With the water, you have your dangerous marine life, uh, alligators, urchins that you can step on, uh, lionfish, anything that can bite you pretty much. The, the quality of the waters sometimes could be hazardous because you have algae blooms, um, you have sewer outbreaks or sewer line busts and stuff that leak into the channels. And uh, just trying to maintain a safe environment or work environment whenever we do get in the water, because your entire body is exposed if you're not working, depending on what equipment that you're using. And that's one of the main um, challenges that we would actually come across is uh, just the quality of the water that we would be getting into. Mike and John were in. John comes up, freaking out, saying he saw a gator. And we all kind of didn't believe him, but then we just went ahead and called it because we were basically done. Um, so we called the dive, we were putting everything up. Uh, I had to go take a few pictures. I go back under the bridge, and sure enough, there's like an eight foot gator sitting on the surface. We do, do a lot of quality control. So even after a structure gets inspected, we go back out to the field. Once work gets completed on them, to see if it was done to our standard. So it's pretty cool when you go back out to the field and you saw what the structure looked like before, and we get back out there and it's in a better condition than it was a couple months before it. You're a part of a process like that's statewide. And I mean, just the purpose in itself, like when you go out there and you find something that is worth finding and you employ a plan to actually get it fixed, prevent, any future mishaps, then it makes you feel pretty good about yourself. If you like excitement, if you like a, a change in pace every day, I think it'd be a great job. Um, definitely get to do a job that not a lot of people get to do.